This video is to give you a short introduction to the combination system uh, from SSL, that's the one that's in use at uh, Notre Dame Basilica, which is the organ for the final round of the CIOC, and also at Saint Jean Baptiste, which is the organ for the second round. This organ that you're seeing here is at the Church of St. Andrew and St. Paul, also in Montreal. It has the same uh, kind of combination action as those other two. So I'll start by explaining the simple combination action involving the general and divisional pistons, and then we'll talk a little bit about the list system, which is the registration sequencer common to all three of these instruments as well. The simple combination action involves divisional pistons and general pistons. General pistons are combinations that affect the stops throughout the whole organ, all of the divisions. So if we set some stops on the grate, some stops in the solo, some stops in the swell, the choir, and the pedal, we can press adjust, and then the piston we wish to set. When we press cancel and push that piston again, all of the stops we've set come out throughout the whole organ. There are also divisional pistons which affect only the stops in a particular division. So for instance, for the grate, we have some divisions, divisionals. We can set like so, cancel, and the registration we had set is there without affecting the stops in the other divisions. Uh, thus far, the general combination action the simplest part of it. Now we'll talk a little bit about the list system, which is the sequencer. It's activated through the panel here that has the SSL system and says step and piston. This may be placed at Saint Jean Baptiste and Notre Dame. It'll be placed somewhere by the coupler rail. Uh, here it's hidden in a drawer. It's far more Presbyterian and discreet. Uh, in order to use the list system, the first thing to do, you'll see a blank screen. First thing to do is to press list in use, and you'll see zero by the step. In order to program the list, we press the adjuster button or the set button, hold it, and press list in use. And you'll see zero one and zero one. This is the step, and this is the piston. The system is split into two parts. You can set any number of pistons and then dispose them over any number of steps. So you could have each step of the sequence, which is the next that you get each time you push the up arrow for the sequencer, uh, you could have each of those steps set with piston one. So you would get piston one over and over and over the same registration. If, let's say, you had a ternary form piece, A, B, A, C, A, B, A, and you wanted to have the same registration for each of the A sections, you could have section A set on piston 1, section B set on piston 2, section C on piston 3. So then what you would do with your steps is that you would have step 1 as piston 1, step 2 as piston 2, but then step 3, which is coming back to an A section, would be piston 1 again. Step 4, which would be the C section of the piece, would be piston 3. So your sequence of pistons would be 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, two, one, over five steps. Sounds a bit arcane, but in fact, in practice, it's quite simple. So in order to set a piston, let's say we call up our general piston that we had before, one, and we're at step one here. To set that on the sequence, we make sure that we're in the adjust mode, which is what happens by pressing set plus list in use to open the sequencer. And then, once the step and the piston have lined up correctly, we press adjust plus piston on the panel. That will set that piston. Then to move up the sequence, we we'll use the up arrow above the step, and that will automatically advance the step and should also automatically advance the piston, or at least it'll have the piston that was previously programmed in that step. So let's say we want to have two set our stops for two. Let's say we want to add a few things. We do the additions, press the setter, again, plus piston. Let's say we finished adjusting our sequence of stops. So we cancel, 
and then to save that sequence of pistons that we've set, we press list in use again. The adjust button goes away, and that means that that sequence is now saved. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that it's very important to exit the adjust mode before changing memory levels. Now the memory levels are changed in this other panel uh, that has the crescendo buttons on it, for instance. Um, if you leave a memory level before pressing the adjust button, before getting out of the adjust mode, uh, you may, you'll keep all of the pistons that you've programmed, but you may lose the sequence. So what you'll have to do is reassign those pistons to the particular sequence that you want, to the steps you want. In order to do that, you go back into adjust mode, so press adjust plus list in use, and then go back and fix. Um, you can always move the step with the two up and down arrows above and below step in the display. If you want to change the piston that's assigned to a step, you can use the up and down arrows above the piston and below the piston part of the display. So in this case, I've assigned piston 1 to step 3, but I could change that and assign piston 2 to step 3, for example, or piston 3, piston 4, piston 5, etc. The piston numbers that you see here correspond to the physical piston buttons that you see uh, with the generals. So here they go up to eight, for example, at St. Edward and St. Paul. So up to eight, you can use the piston button here and these piston uh, pistons uh, interchangeably. Now, you have to start using this piston button exclusively when you get beyond these eight pistons, because on each memory level, there are 40 pistons available. Uh, in the case of the St. Edmund St. Paul organ, eight of, the button, eight of the pistons are real, and 32 of them are virtual. They don't have piston buttons assigned to them, but you can access them by using this piston button and the up and down arrows. So let's say you wanted to assign piston 38 to step three. You would press the up arrow, until you arrived at piston 38. And if you wanted to see what was on piston 38, you can read it out by pressing the piston button here. Turns out that on this level, 38 is blank. There's nothing on it. Uh, so let's say you wanted to see what's on piston 10, which is another virtual piston. It doesn't have its own piston button. You would go to 10, press the piston button, that'll read it out. Let's say you want to adjust that piston. You'd draw whatever stops you wanted to change on it, press adjust, and press piston again. Saved. Now, let's say in the course of your registration, you've gone along, you've gone along, you've registered 38 of the 39 pistons you want for Agnos. And you discover, oh shoot, at number 21, I forgot to insert it, or I forgot a step that I wanted. You don't have to go back and rewrite all of the combination numbers. You don't have to reassign all of the combinations. What you can do is go to, say, step 21, realize you've made the mistake. Let's say you want to insert a step between step 21 and step 22. What you do is go to step 22 and press insert step while the sequencer is in the adjust mode. Insert step. The piston number disappears, that means that at this point there is no piston assigned to that step. So you've effectively inserted a step. All of the pistons that were set before that in that spot have been transposed up by one, so you've created a blank space. So you can adjust your piston. So let's say you've used all of the pist all of the generals except one, so you've got number 40 free. You can go there, put that up to number 40 on the piston. Program the piston in, press set, and there you go. So 23 now is what 22 was formerly, and you've, adjust, you've inserted one step. Let's say the opposite happens. You've gone along and you realize that inadvertently you set a piston that you didn't need in the sequence. There's one too many. Again, you don't have to do a quick double touch on the next button. You can, in fact, just go to where you were, let's say our step 22 here, on which we just added piston 40, and you can delete that. You press delete step, again, while it's in the adjust mode, and it's gone. 
So piston two, which was previously on 23 after you had inserted that step, is now gone and you're back to where you were at the beginning. Once again, when you're done programming your sequence, you can press list in use and exit the programming mode. Your sequence is saved and you're away to the races. Now in performance, uh, you've programmed everything, it's all ready to go. What you need to do is to press list in use and you'll see zero. Then what you do is press the up button. So there's an arrow that will be to the right of the expression pedals. And in most cases, there will also be an arrow just to the right of the great divisional pistons. I think Notre Dame and Saint-Jean-Baptiste have a couple of other up arrows. Uh, so you can press any of those, and that will put you onto step one, piston one. So then you're ready to begin your, your, uh, your sequence. Not necessarily piston one, just in the case of this sequence that I've set. I have piston one set as step one. Um, so you just advance through the pistons that way. You can use uh, divisional or, uh, general pistons or divisional pistons in the course of using a sequence. That's perfectly fine. I don't know why you would want to, but if you wanted to, you could. And then when you next press the up button, uh, it will just go to the next step in the sequence. Um, so it won't affect the order in which you do anything at all. You can also use divisional pistons the same way without affecting the course of the sequence. Just when you press next, you'll get the next step in the sequence, regardless of what you've done with divisionals or hard general pistons in the meantime. Hand registration as well you can do without affecting that. Uh, should the unfortunate thing happen that you do a double touch on the next button and you skip a piston inadvertently in performance, which can happen, uh, you have a couple of options. There's a down arrow, usually on the left-hand side of the keyboard somewhere. Sometimes there are a couple of down arrows, and that will bring you backwards through the sequence. Step five, four, three, two, one, etc. cetera. Um, for normal programming of a sequence in performance, I recommend very strongly to set everything only in a forward direction and not to rely on the down arrow to go back through previous registrations. Uh, I find it a little confusing to try to remember whether it's up or down. So I think using the sequence and programming the pistons in the right order rather than relying on going back through them is safer. Um, and using the down arrow or the back arrow as a, an emergency exit only in case of catastrophe. There, I think that's a fairly thorough explanation of how the list system and the uh, combination action of the Casabon organs you'll be playing work. Good luck. I hope your performances go well, and I look forward to hearing all of you then.